and get an okay for a cab. I'm just going to finish this from the other tape so it's documented. Um, so I didn't believe that for one moment. He said enough, the cab driver did, that used to be a friend, kind of, uh, that they knew it was me. So now then, I'm about spent 100 bucks on some other camping gear. Um, well, it's uh, um, tarps and uh, fuel and stuff for the propane to, to cook and et cetera, things like that, and some food. So now then I have nowhere to go. Well, I had remembered before we get to North Creek, just uh, a little bit about a fourth of a mile back before you get there, there used to be a horse trail, and you could go back in there and camp. So I had to have somewhere to go, and I didn't want to go on to the campground for what they had done, burning formaldehyde and everything. And I put this on the other tapes. So when I got there, it was overgrown. Well, I, I had to get out anyway. There's water back there, so I got out. And there's, they've got built one of these bump places where they build up and car vehicles can't get back in there. Well, the cab driver, the one I thought was a friend, got my stuff out. And um, I pulled it. I was able to pull it back a little ways, but it was overgrown. And uh, uh, I, I was just so fatigued. And I'm old. <laughs> and they've worked me over with uh, formaldehyde and you name it. Uh, I'm allergic to chemicals, and the immune system shuts down. So I did all I could. I put up the tent, and it started sprinkling rain. And I, by this time, I'm so tired, I can't pull it any further. And I get in, and I passed out, really, from fatigue and everything. It wasn't long. I'm not kidding you. I don't know how long. I didn't have a clock out there. But the Eric showed up. And he was, I'd never seen him like that. He's telling me to get out, get my stuff and get out. And um, so I, I, he said that I had broken a couple of little branches putting the tent up that were poked out over. And I'm talking about small. Uh, <laughs> wasn't a branch, it's a leaves. And he started r raging about that, that he was going to give me a ticket and uh, I'd have to appear in court for a violation. And then he said, I just want you to get it out. I told him, I said, you know I'm allergic to chemicals. And you know what's been done to me, Eric. And he said, I want you out of here. He's screaming. So then he walks out to his vehicle parked there, and he doesn't leave. So somebody told him to get me. I put this stuff on YouTube, all right? I've named names, and he's a part of this mess. Um, so, I, he brings a cop from Fincastle, he's called, and I wondered, what's it, I'm just a little old lady, I'm leaving, I'm complying with him, um, and he, he's ca calling a cab, the same cab that brought me, he's calling him, I'm going to say his name, Alan, so, uh, what's this cop doing there? So anyway, this cop finally leaves. He says they're friends. I asked them that, and he says, well, I'm uh, a friend, and we're going to hire Eric when he retires from the uh, Jefferson National, well, from the uh, National Park Service, Forestry Service. He's a ranger. Eric's a ranger, and this is a cop from Fincastle. So they were unfriendly. I'm old. I'm sitting there, can't hardly move. And there's been things going on between the rangers and the whole bit for a long, long time. Now then, uh, this uh, Fincastle cop leaves. Eric's still sitting there. He comes back out, and I think he's thought things over a minute. He comes back out, pretends to be nice, and asks me, do I want some cold water? And I said, no, I have water here. So he said, I t then he starts saying, I told you to start getting this stuff out of here. Well, I had done all I could. I took the tent down, and I can't even move. I asked him then, I said, um, he said I was too near the road. Uh, it's a forest. It's not just a forest road. It's a little bit better that goes to North Creek, and it's just a fourth mile from North Creek campground. And um, I asked him to help me get up there. Well, he refused. He wanted me off a national uh, forest uh, land. So um, anyway, the cab's on the way, 
And Eric goes back and gets in his vehicle, and he says he has paperwork he can do. And so why is he sitting there? I'm leaving. He's called the cab on his, the same guy that brought me out there on his phone. And um, I finally get up, and I'm afraid to go to his vehicle. But I walk around, and uh, I, before I get up to it, I said, Eric, Eric, and he rolls down the window. And uh, I told him, I said, the cab, the place I originally meant to go was up on the parkway, and I named the pond, and it's camping, free camping. And um, I said, um, the cab had to okay to come up on the parkway, and you all told him that on Sunday um, you couldn't come up there with the cab. Well, the cab driver told enough that most people don't go camping in a taxi, get a taxi. So they knew it was me because of the uh, place and everything, because years ago I had camped up there, years and years ago. And Eric's very versed. In fact, I was told he was sent up here um, specifically. This is political, who I am and uh, what they've done to me. So anyway, here he is, and I tell him, I said, when the cab driver called, he said, you told him we couldn't come up there on Sunday. On the uh, cab couldn't. He said, oh, well, that's not true. Well, the cab driver was told that, or he lied. Uh, and I don't, I think both of them are in on it now, the scam. They've depleted every money I had within a few days. About 500 bucks was gone between cab and being run. And um, so I said, well, can the cab is on the way, so can he take me up there then since it's okay to be on the parkway? And it's going to be close tonight. Now it's getting there. And he was angry. He said, you're to be off forest land. You're not to come back anywhere. I said, will you write me out something telling that? No, he wouldn't do it. He said, I'm not going to write you a violation. And um, so about that time, the cab driver showed up. And he's getting my stuff and bringing it back in. But this time, he's got a, a car, a nice car, uh, his own. So um, I said something to Eric. I said, um, oh, well, you know, he was such being such a, there's no other word for it, ass, mean, this whole thing. I said, uh, will you, um, you know I'm putting stuff about this documented on YouTube. And he was, he, he became so inflamed. I forgot what he said about YouTube. And uh, with that, he turned around and started writing. He said, I told you I wasn't going to write you a violation, but I'm going to write you a warning. So she stood there and wrote it out. And um, he he thought better of it. But he tore it off, the cab driver said, uh, Alan said. He said, didn't he give it to you? I said, of course he didn't. He thought about it, and he knew I was going to put it on YouTube. And he said, well, he wrote my name down to the bottom. He said he tore it out. I thought that he um, gave it to you. So what really did he uh, write down? He could have wrote down a violation and said he gave it to me, and he didn't. So anyway, we left, and he's saying I cannot come on uh, federal land again, or he'll be right there. He won't give me a a letter saying I can't. But uh, So I left. And I came back to travel, which is about, I don't know how many miles from where they picked me up. My cab driver that I thought was a friend years ago, and he had picked me up now in in this whole little fiasco that lasted less than a week, just a few days. He had picked me up, and it cost me 50 bucks. He had taken me out there. It cost $100. Now he's bringing me back, and it's uh, he shouldn't have charged me the $100. It was just not that many miles from where he picked me up to here. But I didn't complain. But that was the last penny, and I told him that that I had. So I, it's two weeks before I get any money, so I'm out on the street. And um, it didn't seem to bother him. So it was after he left, uh, Alan left, that I thought, my God, have they just pulled a scam on me? Um because I have no money now. Within a matter of a few days, uh, I was gone 500 bucks, all that I had in a few days. So uh, I'm going to leave it at that.
This was a 